Hello YouTube, I'm Zach, you're watching Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at a self-driving grocery store. Yeah, you heard me right. Then we're going to look at a drone that can be used as EMS. And we're going to wrap up with an explosion of population in the Gray Seals. Almost time to take them off that endangered species list. And remember, if you want more news like this Monday through Friday, go ahead and click that subscribe button over here. And then you'll know when I upload something new. All right, let's get right into this. You know, before I get into my first story here, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Without you, I wouldn't be doing this. Now, I did take about a week off here. Uh, some stuff happened personally in my life. I don't know if I want to talk about it here. Maybe I'll put it out in a vlog later. I'm pondering if I really want to get into it. Just know I am back. We're back on schedule. And let's talk about a self-driving grocery store. In Shanghai, they have this thing called Moby. This is an entirely electric, self-driving grocery store that's designed by the company known as Wheelies. They do have this thing on the streets of Shanghai right now running around. It is driven right now, but soon they plan on going full autonomous with it once they clear the regulations. And this thing is so cool. Like I said, full electric, and it has solar panels on its roof, so it charges free of the, the city's power grid. So basically, what you do is you find where it is on your app, you go into the store, you pick out what you want, throw it all in your basket, and it automatically charges your account when you leave. You can't even get into this thing unless you have the app on your phone. So it's even a little safer than your average corner store at 2 o'clock in the morning. Although I do have to say that video makes it look kind of creepy, doesn't it? Now this was designed by the company Wheelies, along with China's Hi-Fi University. I think I'm saying it right, or FA, I'm not sure. Either way, they came up with the programming to make this thing autonomous. Now if you've never heard of Wheelies, they're a Swedish company that already makes electric-powered bike vending units that people could ride around on and sell. Pretty hipster stuff, you know? And speaking about hipsters, here's Thomas Mazzetti. He is the founder of Wheelies, and he says he came up with this idea because he grew up in the countryside in northern Sweden. When the last store closed there in the 80s, sometime after that, everyone just commuted to the city. But that takes an hour. A little piece of the village died, and he wants to bring that community feel back. His idea for these is for smaller communities, for little communes, stuff like that, to come together, spend the $30,000 it costs to buy one of these, and then be able to own their own little market in their own little area and give access to everyone, even those who can't drive to get to the store. Kind of bring that community feel back together. Personally, that seems like a pretty good idea to me. But there you have it. The first one is on the streets in Shanghai doing test runs, coming soon to a little community near you. I feel so off. It's been a week since I did this last. I don't feel like I'm on today. <laughs> Next, let's talk about this great idea by Karolinska Institute in Sweden. They noticed that a lot of times when someone has a heart attack outside the hospital, the rate of survival is very, very poor. And they equate that directly to travel time for the ambulances to get to the victim's location especially in rural locations. Well, they decide they want to start using drones to get defibrillators out on the front line being chased by an ambulance, so that way the defibrillator can get there first and maybe be of some use. According to the head of this project, the average response time for an ambulance into a lot of these areas is right around 30 minutes. With the drone, they're able to cut this down to just five. How excellent is that? What this will do though, it'll fly into the area, either drop the defibrillator or have it attached directly to the drone body itself and give verbal commands on how to use this to try to kick that person's heart back up before they pass away. This seems like it would have great applications in rural EMS centers all over the world. And I really hope they can make something of this. I also see a lot of other ways this can help. I, I picture it sort of like being the, the St. Bernard with the barrel on its neck to save hikers but only of the modern times. You could put all sorts of first aid equipment in there and really go out and save lives. And finally, let's talk about these guys, the Gray Seals. Back in 1973, after being hunted for almost 100 years, the Gray Seal was put on the endangered species list. They figured at that time, there were only 30 of these animals left in the wild in the United States, period. That's it. Well, it looks like after 45 years, their numbers have rebounded. According to a study, published in Bioscience by David Johnston of Duke University. He states that past surveys based on traditional methods of counting 
counted about 15,000 seals. Our technology-aided aerial survey suggests the number is much larger, between 30,000 and 50,000 individuals. So that's what, 100,000% growth in 45 years? I'd say the population's doing pretty well. What really caught my eye about this, other than this being a great success for conservation, is the technology they use to come up with these numbers. They went to Google Earth, and they sat there with Google Map images and counted seals. They also used some drones that had thermal vision on them to differentiate these animals from their surroundings. And finally, they also used collar mounted electronic trackers on these animals as well. And by putting all that technology together, they were able to do this survey faster, more precisely, and safer than ever before. Oh yeah, and cheaper too. So we've got a win there for tech and a win for the gray seal. How cool is that? But with that, I want to wrap this up. I said it's been a week. I feel like I'm stumbling over everything. I got to get back into the groove. But thanks for stopping in. I do this five days a week. That's Monday through Friday. Today is Thursday. So I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Be safe.